Hey guys, this is a tribute to 2016 going to 2017. These are my new reptiles. This is my newest addition. Well, I got two new additions. What am I? He doing? got a new female. Shut up. This is my male Kenyan Sambo. He's a regular color morph. It's beautiful. He just ate like a couple days ago. Just wanted to take him out for a little bit. There he is. Stop touching my stuff. Yeah, it's my little nephew's not listening to me right now. He's around six inches long. Me? This is a little baby. It's from Kenya, obviously. It's Kenyan Sambo. Get a close up on his head. There we go. There's his eyes. Beautiful. Beautiful coloration. So, yeah, that's my little baby Kenyan Sambo. I'm putting this on his cage. So, give me a second. So, yeah, just open the cage. I'm gonna put him back in. So it might take him out and teach a little bit more. Because I have to take a picture from my grandma. It's just cage, it's a little water dish, but there's a teensy bit of water in there. There he is. He's trying to burrow into that. But, yeah, this is his hot spot right here. Do what again? Tickle them. Oh my god, look at that. There he goes. He's gone. So yeah, it's my Kenny Samurai. He got a heating pad. Right around there. It's around 85 and degrees up here. But when you go down there, it's 105 degrees. So he's in a perfect tank. His cold spot over here is 75. Hot spot over here is around 90 to 107. So over here, I have my two green snakes. So I'll show you them now. This is my male Louisiana green snake. His name is Mr. Green. Yeah, he's nice. He's kind of popular. You've seen him in my last video where he regurgitated his food. And down here in this little hut right here, my female. So I'm gonna take her out. So yeah, her name is Feisty, and you might find out why. Here she is. Her name is Feisty. She's my biggest of the two, and her she usually musks, but thank God she didn't musk this time. So I'm guessing she's around 28 inches long. Um, put her back inside of her tank. And yeah, we got my two snakes here. They, uh, so we gotta put the hide back where I found it. Ooh, don't you dare go shooting up out of the cage. So yeah. Um, this is my cricket keeper where I feed um, these guys here, my lizards. So yeah, and I feed them. I feed my male baby lizards, but I just got the female and Kenyan yesterday, so yeah. I'm uh, I'm gonna show you these guys. In here, I have my male leopard gecko. He's a banded or bandit, banded or bandit leopard gecko. Beautiful. He got some nice purples on him. Scare him up in here. And here I have my either, I just found out she's either a tangerine or a carrot tail leopard gecko. So I'm going to take her out the hide so I don't crush her or anything like that. She's a pattern list too. I'll show you her patterns. I meant to say her, she's pattern list. I didn't mean to say I'll show you her patterns, but she's pattern list. So, yeah. 
nothing that special with her. Um, I'm going to go on to my green amoeba. It's my green amoeba cage. There he is. He's resting. I caught him in my backyard. He got some crickets inside of his cage. Just got a little wild. This is a custom little terrier I got for him. And yeah, well, and that's it for my reptiles and stuff. Um, I'm just gonna go show you my one of my carnivorous carnivorous plants. You probably know what it is by already by saying it's carnivorous and it's a plant. Here is my Venus flytrap. So yeah, that's about it. They eat the flies that go inside there. I don't know how they get in there. But I used to see some flies in there. And we're eating some hot dogs. And we're also going to have some a big thing of... Um, a big thing of lobster and stuff. There's my green snake. Can't really see it because of the glare. But he's right there. There we go. And also, I don't know if I already said it, but I'm pretty sure, but just in case, there's a heating pad on here. We're usually around 105 degrees and stuff like that, so yeah.